Hey guys, Sarah here and I'm back with another Mom 101 blogging video. If you are a mom blogger, if you're a blogger at all, if you are a mom marketer in any way, this is the video series for you because I'm teaching you all the tips and tricks I have. Today's going to be a bit of a shorter video because we're going to go through Facebook and we've already done a whole video just on why Facebook is important, why you need a Facebook page for your blog. Now I'm going to tell you how you actually get people to follow you. So let me flip over to my Facebook screen right here. The number one way I have got new followers on Facebook who end up becoming actual fans of my blog is by running contests. Contests are amazing because people love free stuff. Like, let's be honest, everyone loves to get free stuff, but they also encourage people to like you and engage with you because they want to be the one who wins. So I actually am running a contest right now. It's a contest with a giveaway for um, a canvas print and um, it has brought in probably about 40 or 50 new likes onto my Facebook page. I ran a contest uh, a month or two ago with a large brand and they were giving away a family pack of products that most people would use in their home and that ended up bringing hundreds of new Facebook followers. So. If you're going to be running contests on your Facebook page, the first thing you need to know is that you need to be giving away something that is of value to the, your target audience. I would never give away something that wouldn't be of value to a parent because my target audience on my mom blog, it's parents, specifically moms. Everything I write, everything I talk about is geared towards moms. When you're gonna run a, run a contest, run it on your blog, make one of the entry options to check out your Facebook page. So um, people will enter your contest and they get extra entries if they do a few things. One of those things is gonna be to go check out your Facebook page. You can't actually tell them to like your Facebook page. It's against Facebook's rules, but you can ask them to go check it out. I've had hundreds of people end up liking and engaging on my Facebook page simply because of that. Now let's go back to our Facebook screen. Here we go. The next thing I want you to do is consider running ads. I've said it before, Facebook is pay to play. So I run an ad, a small ad, once every five or six months. I don't do it very often. I spend about 10 to $15 and my ad will have a picture that happens to be doing really well on my Instagram or on my blog and it will link directly to my Sleeping Is For Losers Facebook page and encourage people to follow my Facebook page. This is gold. This brings in people who would never cross your blog's path otherwise. Another option if you don't wanna run a Facebook ad is to boost a post, and I've shown you this before, but when you boost a post, it just means that you're gonna get more eyeballs on it. And when you have more eyeballs on your Facebook posts, it's a really, really good thing. So from time to time, I will boost a post, I will run an ad if I'm feeling like I'm not getting the engagement, I'm not getting people to my page as often. There are so many schools of thought when it comes to Facebook, but if you want people to come to your page and like it, you need to be putting up some half decent content that they're gonna be interested in. Just like I said last time, mix your own personal content with content from other blogs, other sites, other magazines. And one thing that I've found has been doing really well recently is a bit of micro blogging, which means putting up just a picture and writing a little story that goes with it. This particular one got shared eight times by people I'd never met before. I know eight doesn't sound like a lot, but it probably ended up bringing in about 50 or 60 new likes to my Sleeping Is For Losers Facebook page, and I didn't have to do a single thing to do it. It just happened. Now, the next thing I want you to do when you are on your Facebook page and you're trying to bring people to it is to constantly check your insights. Your insights is a gold mine of data and you need to be looking at it regularly to see who is engaged with you, who isn't engaged with you, what kind of posts do really well. So again, you can see that standalone picture that I had put up with just a little story ended up being my best post for the past five posts, posts that I've had and had the most engagement. So I'm realizing through looking at my insights, which is just a little tab right here. I haven't done anything special to get them. We all have them. I'm realizing what kind of content my current likers are liking 
and what kind of content might bring in new likes. The last thing that you could do, and this one is genius and it's why I love Facebook, is it lets you choose other pages to watch. In fact, it even suggests other pages to watch. And it lets you kind of compare how they're doing to how you're doing. And when you see a blog, a page on Facebook that is doing really well, add them here, just add them on. And now you're going to be able to compare their likes, you're gonna be able to compare their insights, you're going to see how much engagement they've had. You can see my friend Kate, this, month's, this mom loves, is kicking my butt when it comes to engagement. And you're gonna be able to um, be aware of what kind of content works for them. And especially if they're in the same niche as you and they talk about the same kind of things, don't copy them, but be aware of what they're talking about that is doing so well. The last thing that I want you to do to get new people onto your Facebook page, so now you've run a contest that's gotten you a lot of people, you've run an ad that's again gotten you a lot of people, and remember I don't want you to spend a ton of money, like 10 bucks max to run that ad and get some new likes. I want you also to add as many people as you can who are your current friends on your personal page. So in order to do that, I don't want you to think about it as potentially bugging them. I want you to think about it as giving them an opportunity to see another side of you, to see your content. And if they're good enough friends, I would even ask them to invite their friends. So all you need to do is click this right here that says invite friends to like this page. It will populate your friend list and you can invite the people who you think will really enjoy your blog's Facebook page. I know my mom happens to be my number one fan and she has shared posts from my Facebook page. She has liked things, she engages, and you know what? Sometimes it's a little annoying, but she's also brought in probably the most people to my Facebook page, more than anyone else um, in my actual friendship or family circle. So just to recap, how are you gonna get new likes? How are you gonna look at your insights? First, you're gonna run that contest, then you're gonna run your ad, then you're gonna make sure you're constantly, at least once a week, if not more, checking out your insights. See what works on other people's pages and see how you might be able to incorporate things like that onto your page. And finally, invite your friends to like this page. They are not going to be upset. They're going to be happy. And you know what? If they don't want to join you, that's okay too. And one last thing, uh, you always have the option if you have somebody who ends up liking your page um, or liking your post, you always have the option to click on their name and invite them to like your page. And that is such a cool option that actually is pretty new. So you can just invite them right there because she doesn't already follow my page, but I'm gonna invite her now to follow my page because she liked one of my posts. That is a gold mine for getting new people on to your Facebook page. So next time when we talk, we're gonna talk one of my favorite platforms and that's Instagram. See you later.